Hello and welcome to MyCatSite.com and this video is going to deal with polylines, p-lines, plines, I guess you want to call it. So I've just drawn a line and you'll see if you list it, it shows up as a line, as a beginning and an end point. Now I've drawn a rectangle and if I list that, you'll see that it actually shows up as a polyline or an LW lightweight polyline which is in newer versions of AutoCAD it's just the way AutoCAD tracks them in the database so an LW polyline, lightweight polyline, polyline are all the same thing unless you're programming and working in other specifics so now I've drawn a polyline and it looks just like a line but if I list it it's an open polyline meaning it has a beginning and an end and it's not a closed loop so drawing a polyline is just like drawing a line and here I am I've just drawn four lines as you can see it's four separate objects so I'm going to erase that and now I'm going to draw a polyline and it looks almost the same way as far as drawing two units, two units and close it. And now if I list it, you'll see it's a polyline and it's closed. And for all intents and purposes, it's also a rectangle. So here's another polyline going up two units over. And you'll see that that is one object as well. So I can draw another one and now you'll see that I have two separate polylines so what I'm going to do is go into the P edit command PE and then take the join option and join it and so now I have my command finished I press enter and now I've turned the two polylines into one So once again, for all intents and purposes, I've drawn another rectangle using yet another method. And now I can also do arcs in a polyline, which I'm drawing here. And I switch from L to draw a line again, type in A and the length I want that to be. And now that's set and I have a single polyline as an oblong slotted shape. So here's another way of doing polylines or another option and I can change the width of them so here it is uh, using 0.2 units for the start and the end and I you can see that the line is now thicker and now I can even vary that to go from a starting width of 0.6 to 0 and this will in effect create an arrow and this is really how dimension lines are formed if you were to break them right down and now I have two separate objects and once again I can use the p-edit command and join the two of them so my arrowhead and my line become one and now I have just one object that I can rotate or do whatever I want with so you can see that polylines are very versatile. There's lots of ways you can work with them and they can also be used in 3D which will be covered later on in another tutorial. And here I'm just drawing a random shape using a polyline and if I go down and start the P edit command again you'll see that another option I have is spline so just by typing S enter it turns it into a spline based off the points that I drew originally and inversely I can also choose the D curve option and it'll take it back into the what it originally was so get used to using polylines and you'll find that uh, they're very useful and give you a lot of options to draw things that you might not normally be able to just with a regular line. So thanks for watching, mycadsite.com.